Hi, Circle Youth. This month, we're going to be talking about waiting. Now, I've got a story about waiting. I don't know about you, but I've signed up for the My eHealth for Saskatchewan for when I had to get a COVID test. And I had to wait on hold for like an hour or an hour and a half. And I got so tired of waiting and hearing that stupid customer service music. It got to the point that when my mom had to sign up for it online, the music was playing and I could sing the music, the wait on hold music is insane. I Waiting is just so hard sometimes. Now, I know I'm being a little bit dramatic here, but after so much waiting, I was starting to lose hope that someone was even going to come to my rescue on the phone and get everything sorted out, which made me wonder what I'd do if I had to wait for help in an actual crisis, like what happened to Paul and Silas. These guys were thrown in prison for preaching about Jesus. They had no idea how long they'd been there or if they would escape with their lives. They didn't know if they were going to live. So they did the only thing that they could in that situation. They asked God for help. You can read the whole miraculous story in Acts 16, but here's the summary. God was faithful to Paul and Silas. And while we're waiting, God is faithful to us too. So if this piqued your interest and you're like, hey, I want to know more, you can check out the video that I made on YouTube. Check it out if you like, and thanks for being here.